Louis. Jono. So I've got a, another tricky question for you. So we've talked about if my, if my predictor variables are continuous and categorical, but so far we've only had a response variable that's continuous. What if my response is a categorical variable? Right, we're starting a whole new section now based on that idea, classification problems. So that sounds like something new. Am I going to have to learn something new here? Yes and no. Mm. The nice thing is, we, you've already seen how we can adapt that linear model to deal with mixtures of continuous, discrete, categorical in the predictor. We're now going to adapt the other side of it. We're going to look at ways of adapting the response variable to deal with things like success, failure, counts, stuff like that. So my linear framework is still going to work? Still going to work. Brilliant. Cool. So why should I care about these generalized linear models? Because a lot of um, serious problems in statistics have been classification. Just think as simple as success, failure, where it might be getting cancer, not getting cancer, and we want to predict that. Mm -hmm. It might be counting things. So, you know, can I predict the number of outbreaks of Ebola? Mm -hmm. All these things we want to model, all these things to some extent need more advanced models. So it feels like this is going to get a little bit mathematical, is that right? A little bit of nice maths. At one point, we're going to get into a thing called LDA, which is used for things like facial recognition. I'm excited. <laughs> cool. See you then. Let's get into it.